Greetings, everybody. I'm down here in the crypt at Monte Cassino. So this really mother church of Western monasticism. St. Benedict had been a hermit in the hills around this area. He eventually attracted some followers and they, they came here to this place and it's way up above the road. I had been by it a few times, never been here before. I was frankly surprised how far up we are. It's like being on a, really on a mountaintop. And the vistas you get are just spectacular. So Benedict established the really monastic tradition here and it's grown up over the centuries to be this really powerhouse of prayer. We're here not so much because of Benedict, though he is one of our pivotal players. We'll get to him eventually. We're here because of Thomas Aquinas. The very young Thomas Aquinas, around the age of five or six, came here to Monte Cassino. He was born not far from here. And uh, he was here for many years, about nine or 10 years. And there he would have learned the Benedictine life in a very serious way. He would have been immersed in the Psalms and the scriptures. And I think in many treatments of Aquinas, that Benedictine influence is overlooked. Thomas was deeply shaped by the Benedictines. When he was about 16, he had to leave here because of political reasons and made his way to Naples. And there he began his university studies. And in Naples, he met Dominicans who were members at the time of this kind of upstart revolutionary mendicant movement. So right after we leave here today, we're driving down to Naples. And tomorrow we're gonna to film down there. And I'll tell that part of Thomas Aquinas' story. Anyway, so it's a great thrill to be here uh, in this real spiritual center of Western Christianity. God bless you all. Thanks for following us. And uh, please keep praying for our team as we continue filming. God bless you.